You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. The options market can be a confusing place. Sorting through the daily avalanche of data, alerts, updates, articles, and analysis to find the most important information is an overwhelming prospect. But now you have help. Welcome to the Options News Rundown, the only program that breaks through the noise to bring you the most important news and information from the world of options. Every day we bring you the top five option stories curated by the options experts at theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's Live Advantage Group Coaching Class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. And now it's time to break through the noise. It's time for your Options News Rundown. Good morning. Today is Monday, April 30th. 2018. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story today, we kick off the week with our top five things to know in the market on Monday. First thing to know is today's Merger Monday. Investors digested news of a few multi-billion dollar mergers on both sides of the Atlantic. Shaking up the UK supermarket sector, Sainsbury's and ASDA, the UK arm of Walmart, confirmed they had agreed to a 15 billion pound merger to create Britain's biggest supermarket group by market share, uh, surpassing current leader Tesco. Shares of Sainsbury's jumped 15% after the deal news, while major competitor Tesco lost 1.3%. Stateside, T-Mobile and Sprint announced on Sunday they had agreed to a $26 billion all-stock deal that, if allowed by antitrust enforcers, will create the country's third largest wireless carrier. Second thing to know today is U.S. stocks futures uh, point to a positive open. U.S. stock futures pointed to a positive open as investors prepped for another busy week of earnings and economic data, heading into a traditionally difficult month financial markets. Third thing to know is the dollar yields, uh, dollar and yields tick higher ahead of a fresh batch of data. The dollar ticked higher against a basket of currencies as investors looked ahead of a fresh batch of U.S. economic data. The U.S. dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, was around 0.3% higher at 91.53 from Friday's high of 91.79, its strongest level since January 11th. The 10-year U.S. Treasury yield stood at 2.964%, staying below the 3% threshold. It climbed more to a more than four-year peak of 3.035 last week. Fourth thing to note today, Fed's preferred inflation metric is in focus. Monday's calendar features a closely watched report on personal income and spending for March, which includes the personal consumption expenditures inflation data, the Federal Reserve's preferred metric for inflation at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time already out. The consensus forecast is that the report will show that the core PCE price index inched up 0.2% last month after rising at a similar rate a month earlier. And the fifth thing to note today is oil slips on rising U.S. rig count. Crude prices started the week in negative territory, weighed down by a rise in U.S. drilling for new production. U.S. drillers added five oil rigs. Uh, in the week of April 27th, bringing the total count to 825. General Electric's Baker Hughes Energy Services firm said in its closely followed report on Friday. That was the highest number since March 2015, underscoring worries about rising U.S. output. 
Our second story today is from investing.com. U.S. annual inflation measures jump. Consumer spending picks up. U.S. consumer prices accelerated in the year to March with a measure of underlying inflation surging to near the Federal Reserve's 2% target as last year's weak readings dropped out of the calculation. The rise in the annual inflation measures uh, the rise in the annual inflation measures reported by the Commerce Department on Monday was anticipated by economists and Fed officials and is not expected to alter the U.S. Central Bank's gradual pace of interest rate increases. The annual readings in March of last year were held down by large declines in the price of cell phone service plans. Consumer prices, as measured by the Personal Consumption Expenditures, price index uh, jumped 2% year-on-year last month. It was the biggest gain since February of 2017 and followed a 1.7% rise in February. Our third story today is from investing.com. Gold, silver, and copper prices weekly outlook for this week. Concerns over rising U.S. Treasury yields look set to remain in focus for precious metals traders next week after gold prices managed a slight gain on Friday, but still ended the week with a drop of almost 1%. The U.S. non-farm payrolls report for April set to be released next Friday, and the outcome of the Federal Reserve's two-day policy meeting on Wednesday, which will help determine the direction of the dollar, will also be in focus. The Fed is unlikely to raise interest rates after a hike in March, but the central bank statement will be closely watched amid speculation over whether it will raise rates four times this year rather than the three signaled by policymakers. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, Monday, April 30th, 2018, your options news rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Trade smart and have a great week. Thank you for listening to the Options News Rundown. To learn more about these stories or any other developments from the world of options, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's live Advantage Group Coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the Options Insider or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com.